in the hobby that's become big business and have approved an authentic pair of togs on a Baywatch doppelganger. If the annual Icons convention is the Olympics of indoor pursuits, then comics and trading cards are the track and field. These days it's a truly professional sport, with an estimated turnover of $10 million. They say that 70% of schoolboys now collect trading cards, which can range in price from pocket money to serious amounts of nicker. Probably getting up to $1,000 easily. Uh, some of the sports cards, your OJ Simpsons, um, Michael Jordan, cards like that, you're talking big money. You're also talking big money for rare American comics and rare American used clothing. Uh, Michael Jordan's uh, baseball autograph. These are Michael's game used shoes. This is Michael Jordan's Black Beauty bat. He's a worldwide phenomena in any sport. And I think after uh, Michael Jordan and Dream Team uh, won, pretty much took the world by storm. And uh, he's loved anywhere, Europe, Australia, New Zealand. Uh, there isn't a country I've been to that I didn't have a liking for Jordan. You can get these at the Michael Jordan restaurant. And I have people that are will spend any amount of money for a certain item uh, just to have it. This is uh, Magic Johnson, Olympic jersey. The world likes uh, American video, movies, film, sports. I believe in New Zealand and Australia, we're subject to two cultures, the European and British culture and the American culture. Out of those two, we decide which uh, phases, which fads that we would like to um, adopt. And trading cards have been adopted by kids in general. So they're the ones that have dictated what they want to collect. In Europe and in Britain, the stickers are the big thing there, whereas they're not so big in New Zealand. So it's, it's driven by the kids, it's driven by demand, it's not driven by us. And demand for these imported icons is so high that thousands spent the weekend queuing for an authentic Baywatch Babe autograph. The Babe hasn't actually been in the show, but hey, she's wearing the togs. Under this avalanche of imported cultural packaging, you could be forgiven for thinking that there's no life south of the equator, but there is. Well, Southern Tribe is set in the future um, it's basically superheroes set in New Zealand. Yeah, stickman battles life in general. Yeah, the family of sex is about anything really. It's sort of anything that crosses my mind. It's sort of, it means humanity, it doesn't really mean sex at all. It's not like you can say it's a superhero comic or um, an action comic or something like that. It's more, it's probably closer to a slice of life comic. The cyber swine, he uh, is a cybernetically enhanced pig. Talking to people in some of the, the retail situations, um, they often get kids coming in asking about, oh, what, what, if I buy this comic, what will it be worth in, you know, a month's time or something? But um, uh, that's not really what we're about. A lot of people buy comics these days not to read. Uh, they basically they basically won't touch the comic because they believe it's going to devalue the comic if there's a fingerprint or if the spine is bent or anything like that. Oh, you do those two things. That's the key to them. Before you go comic or card crazy, just be aware of the side effects. At this table of card traders, a father is in such a hypnotic state he can't even hear the cries of his own son. Daddy. Uh, uh, Daddy. Is that what was Daddy. And if you can't.